Hi, this is Mayur Abhay, Managing Director, Life Cell International. One of the biggest issues faced by the stem cell industry during the pandemic was the transport. The cells after collection at birth need to reach the lab within 72 hours. Also, if in the case of bone marrow stem cells, from donation all the way until it reaches the patient, that also has to be completed within 72 hours. And you cannot, you know, the bone marrow cells cannot be handed over to a courier, has to be manually hand carried. You know, so that created a big logistics hurdle where transplants uh, significantly reduced in numbers because of the availability of donors and the transport issues around it. One of the biggest issues during the pandemic was the transport, especially the flight operations because we heavily depend on them for moving these samples across the country. We had to revert to an alternate plan where we had to transport these samples through a relay network being uh, from one city to another through a road network. Luckily, LifeCell has operations across the country covering more than 250 cities. So still we had the ability to ensure that our commitment of getting the samples to the lab within those 72 hours was very much possible. Another major milestone during this pandemic that we were able to help was support a transplant where a family with a child having aplastic anemia needed not one but two cord blood units for the transplant and within the family they couldn't find a match. Luckily because of the life cell network and the inventory size of 50,000 units, we were able to meet the requirements of the transplant and uh, happy to share that the outcome was very successful. So LifeCell ensures that we have appropriate training for its paramedical staff. They are also provided with the appropriate uh, personal protective gears. There are restrictions on the uh, entry uh, of the uh, team inside during the collection. We work with the medical uh, staff in the collection rooms in the operation theatres to ensure a smooth and a well uh, organised collection. And, uh, even at the lab, we, we have protocols that ensure the hygiene and safety within the team and the, the operating rooms that we have for processing are also well managed. A few of the recent clinical progress that has been made in the medical space of stem cell transplantation is that now cord blood is considered as a better source than even bone marrow cells. This was on a research study based in the US published in 2020. They've also shown that stem cells from the cord blood can now be used across many conditions with the same treatment protocol. You know, otherwise the preparation of the patient is different in different conditions. Now they've simplified that and reduced the risk of death also to a very, very low number. So not only the cord blood a preferred source, even the outcomes are improving. One of the recent advancements that LifeCell has shown is the size of the inventory available for donors to find a matching unit. We have reached a milestone of 50,000 plus units and at that rate there is a 95% plus chance of finding a matching unit. And review that in the context of the country where less than 30% of the patients who struggle with conditions like leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, 30% only find a match, rest unfortunately will still be on the lookout. You know, to ensure business continuity we have our teams located very close to our lab itself you know so about 100 plus member team is within a kilometer of the operating facility we have adequate stocks you know a lot of of the testing and the processing uh, consumables that we use are imported we at least maintain a three month inventory we also have online uh, on on site power backup systems uh, which include a month of diesel supply you know a month of liquid nitrogen supply and uh, the uh, the teams also have a plan that, that we have a plan that we have a backup site also with arrangements done. If for any reason there's a cutoff of the Chennai Centre, we have arrangements with an alternate lab to ensure the continuity of our operations.